Welcome to Ignani.com. Microsoft Excel 2010. Chapter 1. Getting started with Excel 2010. Part H. Introduction to Ribbon. Continued. Contextual tabs. Even though the list of standard tabs, that I mentioned in the previous video, are the only ones that you will see always, Excel 2010 also includes contextual tabs. These contextual tabs appear in the ribbon, only when you are working on specific tasks such as a chart, a table, or when you select a picture. Let me show you this with an example. Notice that whenever you select the chart, the ribbon bar shows you three new tabs. Design, Layout, and Format. Notice that the contextual tabs are grouped under the title chart tools in Excel's title bar. These tabs provide options specific to chart. When you are finished working with the chart, the chart tools tabs disappear from the ribbon. Let me add a picture. Now the picture is selected and on the ribbon the chart tools contextual tabs are replaced with a single tab named format, under the group picture tools. Notice that the commands in the picture tools format tab is different from the chart tools format tab. When contextual tabs appear, you can continue to use all the other tabs as usual. Hiding the ribbon. While most of Excel users do not worry about the ribbon occupying some part of the Excel window, some serious Excel users do find it unnecessary and would like to squeeze in as much area as possible to see the data they are working on. If you are one among the latter group, then this section would surely make you happy. Excel provides options to collapse the ribbon, which hides the ribbon command bar area, leaving only the tab titles visible. Excel provides a toggle button to show or hide the ribbon. This small arrow that always appears next to the help button, can be used to toggle the ribbon bar by minimizing and maximizing. You can also double click on any tab title, to show, or hide the ribbon. Some users would want to use the features of the ribbon, but at the same time are happy to hide it. For such people, Excel allows us to work with the ribbon even when it is collapsed. All you need to do is click on a tab title, and it pops up over the worksheet. As soon as you select a command that you would want to use and click it, the ribbon collapses itself again. For those of you who do not like to use the mouse and would prefer a keyboard always, Excel has quite a lot of keyboard shortcuts. You can use Ctrl plus F1 to toggle the ribbon bar. If you would want the ribbon to be collapsed always, but only want to use the commands, then again you have a keyboard shortcut. But then it's not easy to remember all the keyboard shortcuts for each command. Luckily, Excel comes to your help with a feature called Key Tips. To use Key Tips, just press the Alt key. Excel then displays letters over each tab in the ribbon. For example, if you would like to select the Home tab, then press the H key. This will show the Home tab, but again with letters on all the commands that is visible. You can now press the corresponding key to trigger the command that would like. Also, notice that some letters are appear dimmed, which says that those commands are not available in the current context. Let me show you with an example. In order to open the Home tab, press Alt, and then H. To make the font bold, press 1 and the active cell content is now in bold letters. Let us try to change the font color of the current cell. Press Alt. Then H. Also notice that some of the commands have two letters. In such cases you would need to press both the keys one after the other to trigger the command. To select the font color option, press F, and then press C. You can either select the available colors, or press M to select the more colors option. Let me select something from the available colors. To select a color, use the arrow keys to move the color selector. 
as you move the color selector, the font color in the active cell also changes. Press enter to select a color. While selecting a command with multiple letters, as soon as you type the first letter, the k-tips gets filtered based on the first letter and show you only with those that matches your criteria. Say for example, if I press F, notice the filtered list only contains the k-tips which start with F as the first letter. At any point in time, pressing the Alt key, will discard your key tips that you pressed and collapse the ribbon. However, say you were out to select the insert tab, but by mistake you pressed a different key, and it opened wrong tab, or you might want to select the font size by pressing FS instead you pressed FF. All you need to do is press the escape key, which will take you back one level instead of having to start all over again. Note. These key tips are not the same as the shortcut keys, and Excel also provides the shortcut keys, which skips all these steps, but it's up to you to use whichever you feel you are comfortable with. Try collapsing the ribbon, only if you are an occasional user, or if you prefer using keyboard shortcuts or key tips. An experienced user can still collapse the ribbon, since it takes just another additional click to access any command. However, if you are someone who uses the ribbon very frequently, or someone new to Excel, and are still in the process of exploring all the features provided by Excel, then I would suggest you to keep the ribbon expanded all the time. Believe me, it's worth losing a few rows. In the next video, I will continue with ribbon commands and buttons. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much, much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.